man, you come straight out of a cunt. I might, I might be charging for my fees to help out too. If anything, <laughs> there you go. Oh, hey, no, hey, so that, so that's another I'm real thing. Your shit out, bro. <laughs> no, but does that? Okay, so does that? That's the question I want to know. So, because Luke Cage and Iron Fist are heroes for hire. Yep. Does that make that right you one? a villain if you charge to be a hero? It depends. No. On, it depends on what the situation is. <laughs> Look, okay, so let me give you a situation. Let me give you the situation. Let me give you the situation first. Let me give you the situation. And if you stand on it when you don't, and it's like, damn, so we just gotta lose. <laughs> we, let me hear the we, situation first. We sitting here chilling, and Doc, and here come Doctor Strange with his little shit. Walks in and tell us there's this alien coming named Thanos. And where their ship is, the, the henchmen that came first, they going to land here and it's going to be like maybe 20 miles outside of where y'all stay. And we need y'all to hold us down and defend when they come until we can get ourselves situated and the rest of the Avengers arrive. Are you going or are you charging to go? But we, but, but are you telling me that Thanos is like Earth or Earth destruction level? Of, like this is a event where it's like y'all might lose y'all people too. Like we, this, this we all got to really got to work together. This first part of Infinity War. Yes, yeah, so strange remember, ain't like, know that. This, yeah, this first part of Infinity War. We don't know really what Thanos is. We just like yo, we know aliens are coming. They coming right in this close. area, and it's it's close to y'all. It's we really need wild. Hands on if you oh, say no, if hold on, hold on. No, Before you answer, be disturbed. Biden. Well, that's what I said before Biden. you answer. This is this this is a scenario where I said it depends because if you charge and they say, "Well, we can't fit that," and you're like, "All right, well then it, it's on y'all." Then yeah, that's kind of <laughs> like now. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Better, y'all better have y'all got Tony <laughs> Stark at that point. No, y'all got Tony Stark. It ain't on me. You got a budget. Y'all better go to this man. Yo, y'all right? got a budget. Hey, look, hey, hey, look, hey, last, <laughs> and last time I checked. Spectrum don't stop sending me bills because I be saving the world. They still want they forty dollars. But twenty miles is close enough. That, twenty miles is close enough that you got to You kind of got to do it. That's I mean, close. you know what? You, you might get what? an errant missile at twenty miles. Like some some like, shit might hit you. You know what? I would probably, I would because because you got think it's you saying strange popping up telling me this because it's strange telling me this. This nigga ain't got no money. You're saying like, you but you like, know he cool. With, you know he, you know he know that. You know Avengers. he cool with the money. He cool with the money. No, 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 no. no. Actually, actually, if we're if we're sticking with Infinity War, we don't know that because oh, yeah, technically, yeah, that's right. the first time he, he, he met. He didn't know. Who, yeah, he didn't know who Doctor Strange was. But Bro, you saw that car. You saw that. You saw that car he was driving in the in the first Doctor Strange. We know he got money. Yeah, Ooh, Doctor Strange got money. Doctor Strange Never, got money. He was a top. He was driving. He was, he was a top. Doctor Strange Remember? is the type of nigga who will definitely tell you, like, I ain't got no money, man. But he I got it, though. Money. We yeah. know he got it. He was a special And that's surgeon. what you're going to be saying. You're going to be tapping the pocket, like, I know you got it, bro. And you're like, I don't have any money. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's when like, you're going to be like, damn, call me when it's more I, urgent. Be like, well, what, what you got? <laughs> that's what you're going to ask. What you got? You're right. See, <laughs> see, Strange, see, that's the thing. Like, if I was in, if Strange was coming to me and I know who Strange is, you got shit in that back room that I might want. You know what I'm saying? I don't need That's no what I'm money. What's in that room? Look at that back room. Let me pick up. Oh, how, how much you want this cloak for? I'm like, yeah. you ain't yeah. really yeah. rocking with this cloak. Like, let me walk. Let me give stop. Me, let me stop. Give me one of these. Give me one of yeah, these. Let me get to that. Let me get to that. One of us for sure for to be like, yo, you know this look good on me, right? That's why. This shit look way better on me. I ain't going to front. That's why niggas. niggas be fucked up, because niggas be out here literally in everybody else's fashion. Like, hey, that's clean, bro. <laughs> like, hey, 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 fellas, Pete, watch me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm floating. I'm floating, nigga. You got I'm that floating. motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> I'm floating. <laughs> be like, man, uh, that cape like me better nigga, than they like you anyway, bro. Nah, so nigga would turn that whole motherfucking cape into a suit, nigga. The whole suit. <laughs> like, nigga, that shit. Nigga, get that shit tailor made. And just <laughs> come out, out, come out of the room with some <laughs> Come out of the room with some drawers, like boy, watch this shit. Just swim into the, the nigga clothes and swim to his ass. Like, 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 hey man, Iron Man ain't the only one that can call this suit. Watch this. <laughs> Get all my little friends to Nigga hey, got to never breast you with hey, the bow tie. You know, like, like, you know they gonna use hood calls. I'm like, watch this. <laughs> shit just coming out of nowhere with a do rag. With a do rag, got, got enough fabric for a do rag too. Do rag pop on. Gotta have enough fabric for it. And it ties itself up. Self tie do rag, nigga. Like that's, that's gonna be the kicker. 
Bro, that that that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna. It, it, I don't want the cape. Hey, you, can you make me a do rag in one of those, bro? Can you make me a do rag in one of those with, with, the, long with the long tail. With the long tail. Do rag. Yeah. The do rag that got the cape too. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> be like, all right, all right. If, be like, all right. If you if you if you can catch what I'm doing, I'll work on it. Nigga, smoke right. a whole blunt that just go away and you just. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I think about it. I think I think about helping y'all. I think about helping y'all. Hey, hey which, but never ending blunt. Hey, which planet you think like got like the best weed? A In planet? Marvel? We doing Marvel? Yeah, if, if Marvel, if if you had to base it off of the Marvel planets that we know, you know, <laughs> Wakanda. Sir. I'm gonna say Wakanda or, or areas, like not just planet, but like areas. You think Wakanda would, would have would, the best weed? I would definitely say Wakanda, Wakanda got it because they gonna Wakanda. use they gonna use that science to actually like cultivate. Like the best, oh, yeah. and, I, that, sure. and that earth, yeah. that earth over there is rich, nigga. You know what's in the earth? That <laughs> earth rich. is rich. We talking about the purpleness of the purple. Wakanda <laughs> got the fattest oh, syndicate. They got yes, the greatest nigga. OG in Look, the nine shit, realm. Nigga, nigga, when you like the blunt, the black, the light is purple, nigga. The flame is purple, nigga. That's how oh, yeah. purple, <laughs> purple is. As like, soon as you, as soon as you, might you go crazy, huh? You think you, you black? Might go like, crazy. It's the, and it's only called Black Panther because when you smoke it, you think your ass is Black you Panther. You think you Black Panther? <laughs> <laughs> as, as soon as you smoke it, you start hearing the chants. Like, he bought my <laughs> Like, oh, your ass. You heard he bought my You hear those uh, 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 coil beat? The do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I know a lot. I think Asgard may have some fire too. I feel like Asgard I would have some fire weed. Asgard gonna have some fire ass like hash or some shit like that shit is. Nah, they gonna have. Go, they gonna have. You ain't gonna know it's weed until you that nigga smoking. You like, bro, is this weed? Shit. Nah, Asgard got ecstasy. You got to think they got that god complex up there and everything like that. And you know, guys, they be having a mad. Oh, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be some they, they gonna have. The, they gonna have they gonna the had party a, enhancer. They, they gonna have the whiteness yeah. of the white cocaína, bro. Like, yeah, the they gonna have. Yeah, you right, right. I think the ecstasy and all that is where that planet where all the gods was where they uh. They had oh, yeah. Asgore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, the floating thing. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no. that? yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's that's where all the dealers go. They'd be like, yo, if I if I need to make money, that's where we go. Oh, yeah. So right. what, the, what does Ego's planet make? What would they what 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 you think they got? Shrooms. Yeah, ego's planet would be shroom. Like Shroom? I feel like 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 anything in that kind of area, <laughs> pretty much like the Guardians of the Galaxy shit is definitely gonna be some shroom psychedelic type shit going because out. it was mad colorful. It was like, so nigga, colorful. ego planet was a living thing, bro. So you gotta be high to realize you're talking True. to the earth for real. <laughs> like you gotta be out your fucking brain. Ain't bro, nowhere yeah. to be like, like, like the worst though. You said who? Nowhere. That, that nowhere, was, nowhere ain't got nothing for you. Nah, you know nowhere got acid. <laughs> nowhere got acid. That's yeah. what they got. They had they hocking straight acid out yeah. of nowhere. Like, you get you that shit is called nowhere there too. You, go <laughs> you ain't nowhere, go, nigga. Right. Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> That's where you finna be. Like, <laughs> these niggas got some strength. Like, hey, I got I got some of this nowhere. I got I got some of this I am group. Would you name me? I got some of that. Uh what else I got? I got some uh, I got some OG like, Nebula. I got a I got a couple of those. OG, OG Nebula, dog. OG Nebula. Like, dog, I couldn't even stuff. imagine niggas in the Marvel universe selling these packs like them motherfucking weed bag, them packs. Yeah. Bro, I got the I, Nebula OG bag. Like, this is what they this is what they don't want us to be in there for. Like, <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> <like, laughs> be hit, be hit on that Thanos bag, bro. You got no, got, bro, <laughs> and just be chilling in space on your ship, waiting for people to call. Throw it, what up, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nigga, I got some, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I got some of that surter. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what it is, bro. That's what I got. Nah, I ain't got no more. I ain't got no more that Gamora. You know, Star Lord all this shit. You know. <laughs> That nigga still stressing about his bitch and everything. So. That nigga uh, that's a touchy subject. That's a touchy subject. That's a touchy subject. I had, I had them, them, That's how to stop. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to bring them back. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna be able to bring that back. That's a dead. That's a dead stop. Too soon. Dead stop. Look at that. Oh. Look he at ain't that. on the phone. That nigga can't hear this. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna swing my new ass guard in like two days, man. That's just like, bro, I gotta make one more run. That'd just be button, bro. That because that's what I feel like a nigga. Like that's what, that's why you couldn't have. That's why niggas couldn't come. Like that's why you couldn't come into the hood and even that all that because we would just start average. Like if we actually had that kind of activity in the hood, we would just advertise it. Like you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like once yeah. we get to once once Captain America them niggas get to coming through and we and they really in the hood, you gonna definitely have a Captain America pack. 
You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Oh, hell like, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. You go, hey, you gonna be smoking on smoking all the Steve life. Rogers right now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all government names, bro. Like, Steve all Rogers, government. Nah. Shit got me stuck. The one, like, the, 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 they, they, might, they ain't gonna go government for Bucky. They gonna, we got that Winter Soldier. You got that Winter we Soldier. Got, we, got, we got that Winter Soldier. We got that Winter Soldier. Yeah, no, he, gonna, he gonna have to have a Bucky too. Like, he gonna have to. Yeah, yeah, they, they, no, no, that's gonna be cold. Let me get a little bit of that. But, the weed with the different you know color strands, so like yo, you hey, hey, I got that Doctor Strange G. Like this one, hey, tr- tr- you got to take your time with it though. Take your time with it. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 a nigga with I'm, a Doctor Strange pack, pretty much popping out with the bag of all like all flavors. Yeah. It's, it's gonna look like a magic act, nigga. It's like, bro, I got this, this. Like, <laughs> now, I'm gonna sell you this one. I'm gonna sell you this one because I know y'all. You know this one. <laughs> This the multiverse of madness shit I call it. Right <laughs> now the mother do the other cats I don't be really messing with. I, I send them that multiverse of madness. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's still, <laughs> it's still <laughs> cool. You know what I'm saying? It still get you where you need to go. But you know, you ain't finna be creating little rings and stuff. And then you know, call, this right here cause incursions. All this shit ain't coming out of mirrors, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You think you, <laughs> you, know saying? you ever been to a mirror round, nigga? You smoke this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and you're seeing yourself. You think you're in the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Man, wait, wait, yo, yo, wait till I hit the nine rounds with this symbiote, boy. Ooh, <laughs> that's, that's symbiote strand? Oh, it's over. It's over. Oh, that shit, that smoke, it, this, it hugs you. You know what? Be all like, you, you think you're a whole different they gonna person. Go, I got that venom. I got that carnage. They gonna just start naming the different oh, yeah. symbiote. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, like those are gonna be dabs, though. I feel like those gotta be dabs. Oh, yeah. Those are okay. dabs. Like, <laughs> like venom, like venom. Venom is actually gonna be a really good weed, like a really good strain. But black Spider Man is like that black's extra girl. Like when we yeah. don't call him, like Venom is Venom, but we go like, no, yeah. you got Spider Man, but we got that black Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? Carnage gonna definitely be a dab. Carnage is gonna definitely be a dab. Yeah, it gotta yeah. be a dab. Like you gotta ask. Yeah, Carnage is gonna be like... a dab. Carnage, <laughs> because it's gonna it's gonna let you know like you can't do no more than this, bro. Like we <laughs> only gonna dab you. Like and, I, gonna, and I got a couple of. Really... I got a couple of Spider Gwen pre rolls for y'all. Just... <laughs> 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 so Spider Gwen pre roll. You know, she you know Spider Gwen like the smoke Straight, like, like that's what I'm saying. Like all the, uh, nothing but hustles, fam. Nothing but hustles. Nothing but hustles. Nothing but hustles. That's uh, why I see, but that's why I see though now is once once you kind of start to think about it though, because of what we do and because of what we create, you kind of see the 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 flaw in what being a super superhero is and what a super villain is today. Yeah, but that's if you even really think about it, like a lot of heroes don't do a lot of the stuff we would be doing. Like we see, like that you would see the different calls yeah. to action. Like even the ones, like even going back to like what we talked about in the beginning, like Blank Man and Meteor Man. Even through them movies, you saw them in some way helping their community. Yeah, yeah, in some way possible, I, and you don't see that with these other heroes. I, I mean, I think the biggest thing that people don't really realize is everybody's origin story. Is just is still surrounded by white people. Like they're still like whether you like whether whatever whether you're Superman who came to Earth and you were raised by white people. Like so that's your community. Like that's what like when you think about what they who they save, they save who they grew up mm-hmm. with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Meteor <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? Meteor about. man. I mean, I just said because you said it on the head, meteor <laughs> man. Like, like them niggas was in the hood, so they like brought saving my people first. Like, woo. Right, like this, this motherfucking, this motherfucking uh, landlord that's a, that's uh, that's trying to kick yeah. everybody out the hood. That's yep. my building. I don't care about that's no fucking <laughs> Yo, but you just made me question too. Yo, imagine if Superman got picked up by two black people. Boy, boy, that guy right <laughs> right. Right. Nah, he just he just light skin. He ain't white. Right. He light skin. Boy, yes, yo, yo. Superman oh. said nigga, and you try to and, and you try to tell Superman he can't say it. Nah, Clark Clint is like, Chet Hanks. Clark Clint like, is Chet Hanks, dog. Oh, God. <laughs> he out here. Oh, my God. God, <laughs> God saying real nigga, bro. Like, try me, nigga. Because he's going to tell you, like, I can say, nigga, I've been growing up with niggas all my life. What you mean? Like, what you, you mean? mean? What you mean? <laughs> nigga, you know Imagine what the you... first dude who's trying to swing on them. And they just Yo. break their head. Bow. Oh. For saying like, nigga. Like, because he going to, because the fact that he know he's like that. He going to be the cocky white dude. Like, bro, I, they already okay me to say nigga. But if you want to be one of them, you know, you know, still want to. 
It's gonna be John Stewart. It. It's gonna be John Stewart that challenges him when they they go, they first Justice League meeting, and he's gonna be like, "Oh shit, what up, my nigga?" And John Stewart gonna be like, "Hold up, what? <laughs> hold you, up, you can't be saying you can't be saying that with your nationality." Be like, "What you mean?" Be like, "You white? I'm not white. I'm Kryptonian." Yeah, I'm Kryptonian. Right. <laughs> so, uh, that y'all seen that um that TikTok video with the Spider Man and Goku shit when he's doing like the <laughs> dog. That is my favorite fucking skit, bro. Like when your hair go blue and your eyes go blue, like dog. and then pick low in the back, like hold on, let him cook, let him, let him cook, <laughs> let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> Thank you, you my, green, my green reptilian friend. Like, dog, that is my favorite oh, fucking shit, shit bro. Like, <laughs> that, hey, that be some real stuff. Like, you just, because again, too, like, I would love to see that just because how he deal with villains and be like, yo, like, that man Lex Luthor just trying to fuck with him and Superman text him. Nigga, I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it's going to be funny because you, like, in this day and age, you and Superman would definitely be on motherfucking live trying to, trying to really tell, like, on some, uh, on some old old girl that kept saying that she was black. The, uh, the, the, uh, oh, Rachel Dolezal. No, not, Ra- not Rachel, but the uh, the young girl. What the fuck? The one that the one that got the the uh, country ass accent. I have no idea who you talking Ooh, about. Bad baby. It was the one oh, before uh, Bad uh, Baby. Uh, the uh, one that uh, was uh, bad, bad, the one that was like uh, uh, see me bad. outside. Yes. Uh, was the, that Bad Baby? No, but Bad Bar- Look, I thought her name was Bad Barbie or Bad Baby or something like that. Is that the one that said, is that the one to see me outside? Pa- catch me outside one? Yeah. Catch me outside. No. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the other no, because she got she actually sound like a regular person. It's the Whoa, other girl oh, that uh, don't. Whoa, Whoa, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. Whoa, Vicky. Oh, Vicky. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, cause I mean, cause for me in my eyes, Superman gotta get picked up by a real southern family. You're saying if he's gonna oh, be yeah, out here. Oh, yeah, he was in the south, so it's gonna yeah, be a southern be, family. He, if he out here said nigga, so I'm saying if you could picture like real Clark Kent on live talking really defending himself, like I could say nickel. I've been on like dog, that shit. Like, I say, I say now, I say now. And man, somebody I got, really getting in, like you. somebody getting in his bag on his live, really threatening this nigga, like, man, I beat your motherfucker. He like, hold up, and just leave out the live, whoop dude to come back to these Superman. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm even, on your, I'm even, on your ass. even worse, even worse, he'd be like, Hey bro, where you at? And that man tell him be like, yo. I'm in Cincinnati. He don't get off live and just fly to Cincinnati. Shoot. Hey, bro. Like, <laughs> like, Cincinnati, dog. Where you at? Like, because you know niggas going to be on the live. Like, if you said nigga in my face, I swear to God, I beat your motherfucking ass. Like, where you at, bro? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, where you at I'm bro? right here, bro. I'm like, right here. Like, so and not in. The whole live is him spending his time pulling up on niggas. Like, who really want pulling it? Pulling up on niggas, nah. I'm saying nigga to anybody. Who want it? You know what I'm saying? Y'all uh, make it super. He ain't even gonna have time to be a hero. He too busy. He, he yo, that's what I'm saying. Because he wants that life. Because yeah, he wants that bro. life. Like, he we gonna tell life. him. As the black people, we gonna tell him, like, bro, you don't really gotta say it. But if you gonna say it, you finna go down a long journey of defending that now. Like, now mm-hmm. you the defender of nigga. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even the defender yeah. of justice no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like right. Hey, like, yo, Superman gotta go into like little meetings and stuff. Be like, so we love what you're doing. Um, <laughs> we we love the cape. We love the, the the little S on the chest. It's so adorable. Um, it's the whole N word thing. <laughs> no, yeah, cause about. I, guarantee, um, I guarantee you that nigga ain't gonna have no S on his chest. He got for me. if the S on his chest is gonna be for the South, but it's gonna be yeah, He gonna I see see yeah, he gonna I listen. Here. He gonna have Paul Wall. Or or John the jeweler, he's gonna have somebody make him the S chain. It's gonna be as big as the Rockefeller chain. He's gonna be out there like that's yeah, his chest. Yeah, he's he gonna be he just right there though. It's gonna be implanted. It's still gonna be where it's supposed to be at. Yeah, it's still yeah. Gonna be where it's, it's gonna be all it's gonna just be a black tee, a black tee, and a big ass diamond chain, bro. Like, <laughs> don't say he ain't even got the onesie no more. Oh no, it, hey, it ain't no. gonna be it ain't gonna be Superman. It's gonna be Superman. It's Superman. gonna be Superman. Superman. Like, yeah, Superman. Like, this nigga, this nigga's this flying in silkies, bro. He ain't. He ain't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, if, you him, if, you if you want him to have his underwear on the outside, it's going to definitely still be some silkies. Nah, it's going to be hooping under. shorts. It's going to be hooping shorts. He's going to have hooping shorts. He's going to have and some, compression, and some compression pants hey, underneath. Some compression and, one thing we, and one thing we know, that man ain't never going to be in the same fit. Every mm-hmm. time it's gonna be a different, mm-hmm. but like, hey, yo, oh, he gonna definitely have different outfits. He gonna definitely mm-hmm. have different outfits, yeah. have different outfits there. Like, like, like you know, I, I thought, your, I thought your, your whole thing was red, blue, and yellow. I don't know why you thought that. That was yeah, for yeah. the shoes I had that month. Like, like, nigga, I got somewhere. To, that nigga said I got somewhere to be tonight. I can't go home and change again. That's what I'm wearing. The new, the new Carmines came out. I had to make the suit custom. Right. You know, I had to make sure that was all you know lined you know, up. I can't be. 
Hey, but I'm clean though. Look, I'm clean though. Hey. This nigga hey. definitely don't work at the paper though. His alter ego definitely work at it. He work at the family barbecue spot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga been in the back. He, a, bar no, he a barber, dog. He gonna be no, he he a, a barber. He's he he a barber. He a barber, dog. Be like, hey, bro. Hey, don't even worry. I got your edge. Hold on. Look at that ass nigga. You I got you. I mean, I got you. <laughs> Oh, my bad, I got a little ice on. You got a little ice shard. Hold on. You got, you got. I hit you with the you you go. boy. Hit you with that cool and neck. You think it's a spray? Yeah. This nigga is breathing. Well, you hey, that, that's already good. Hey, nigga, look, look, like, bro, nigga, like, man, I don't know what you be spraying, bro. That should be at my neck, cool as a bitch, bro. Hey, man, you know, you know how I do it, man. You know, you gotta stay cool as a woman, baby. Stay yeah, up. Like, you want that Steve Harvey? Cause you know you gonna put the you know you gonna put the hand over your eyes, but you with the Steve Harvey liner, right? That's what you ain't you ain't gonna know you use no. the ladies, like you know what I'm saying? Cause you put that <laughs> hand over your eyes, your like, right here. Hold on, like, like <laughs> catch you up real quick, man. Like real quick. Cool. I'm mad. That's I'm it. mad at him being a barber, bro. I really gotta. But you know that's what he gonna do. And then, and, and this nigga gonna be he gonna be leaving me. He gonna be leaving me cuts, bro. Like he bro, got to really bro, get he, the fuck he out of here. He moves so fast. He you good? He gonna leave me. By the time you upset about it, he already back. Yeah. He just ain't gonna be able to talk to you. You right. know what I'm saying? Like you'll be sitting there, be like, "Yeah, man, so you know, like my home, man, my little baby mama talking about like I owe her seventy three dollars and stuff like that." And be just like, "Yo, just hold on one second, I'm gonna be right back. Go and matter save fact, the world." Matter of fact, he will be the worst though. He won't be a good barber. He will be a because sh niggas will have because you barbering niggas. Niggas go, no, you ain't bit you gone, bro. Like, hey, this nigga be <laughs> stopping on my cuts. Like, I be ready to go. Like, hey, like you ain't gonna be the fool, niggas. You know what I mean? He be getting the craziest calls. Be like, hey, hey, bro, hey, what time? Hey, what time you gonna be up at the shop? Be like, oh, I'll probably be there around like like 2 30. Now you gonna be there or you got something yeah. that you gotta go do when I show up? Because I ain't trying to be how you had me. You had me right. like mid fade and stuff right. just left <laughs> and was gone for like, like six hours. He gonna be fucking niggas. When he got you, he called. We but got to get call. a crisis. You might get left with half your head. Like, <laughs> yep. right. And then like, you know what? In the black community, that's enough to turn you to a villain. Because now yep. you like, dog, nigga, this nigga fucked my hair up. Niggas was roasting me all week. You know what? Hey, hey, nigga, I'm a villain now. Fuck this nigga. But that, that's, what, that's what make it. Because that, so that would be actually the best alibi because he still makes enough money that he can pay for his chair. But yep. he's fucking trash. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, he's really trash. Like, so he come in. So he yeah. only cut niggas' heads. Who like don't got a barber? Like if he there, it's like you like you got a seat, and he like and they point at they point at Clark. He, he first like, chair. He first white. chair. Because you, I think he white. He white. He white gold grill chain. S chain. And it's, no, no, because he got a he, he got a chain. He, he got yeah, a chain. He alias. Uh -uh. But he still gonna have a grill though. Like he, he gonna have a grill though. He yeah. gonna have a grill in. So you gonna think he cold? Like what up? Like you know what I'm saying? Come on right here, boss man. I get you in the chair. Like you know what I'm saying? Like and then. <laughs> He started lying to you, talking to you, like, oh, you like the TV going on? Crisis, downtown downtown Atlanta. Oh, man, I got to use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you see, now you now everybody in the barbershop watching Super, like Superman fight. Yeah. And the nigga in the chair real is like, bro, what the fuck, dog? At? How y'all <laughs> doing that down there? <laughs> like, and everybody, in the, everybody like, man, we be trying not to send nobody to do. Like, he be really wishy washy, man. Like, <laughs> like sometimes he, he going to get you when he get you, though. Like, he'll be back. I get it. Like, he going to yeah. be back. Like, yeah. He cold when he here, but then sometimes he just up, up and away, and this nigga be gone. Like every time know, you walk like, back into the, every time you walk back to the barbershop, you holding stuff like, oh man, I got damn Taco Bell. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like nigga, stop eating Taco Bell. <laughs> Stomach always hurting and shit. Like, your silly ass. Like, like always, man. Like that. That'll be that's the best. That's the best alibi because they treated him at the at the uh, planet too. Like. Like yeah. he was a good reporter, but he was like, bro, you don't even be around. Like you he was decent, around. yeah, he was decent. Yeah, he was, he like you can't yeah, be he cold. Didn't do his job like you got, cause it's like when they be scoops, they like, where the fuck were you for the scoop, nigga? Like, yeah, right. you like, <laughs> so like, that's why you? I feel like he gonna be cold. Like the only motherfuckers he gonna be really cold with is kids here. He ain't gonna fuck a kid up. Like he nah, not, nah, like he nah, gonna, nah. gonna be sweating bullets. Like this crisis yeah. downtown Atlanta, he gonna be sweating bullets, but he gonna try to finish this boy head because he gonna leave that nigga socks. You, know you think he might be quick at it though with cutting since he super speed? You know because he can't show that he gonna be he gonna be. Oh, precise. that's true. Yeah, like he yeah, gotta, he gotta stay gonna, humble. Yeah, he gotta, yeah, he yeah that's to a minimum. Like, but cause... but you know what too? That nigga also petty, so I could see him taking his sweet time with Lex Luthor going and be like, nah, he waiting on me anyway. So. Like he definitely. Like Lex used to walk in, like y'all, I got any spots over here. He definitely like, I got him. Don't hear, I got him, y'all. Don't worry about. I got him. Hey, don't, don't worry about him. Come on, yeah. I'm gonna do you right. I'm gonna get you good. Right, I'm gonna get you. you know he just, 
Just be shaving his head back. Be like, yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> just, right now. Push this I nigga just, shit. Ooh, just, right, right now. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yo, and then I could just see him saying the most like shit that just throw them off. Like General Razad be like, yo, fight me. Be like, yo, bro, I, I was just laying down the final track on my mixtape. Are you going to come pull this shit? Like, you gonna like, cut, you gonna let the energy get cut off at the recording studio? Do you know the you bro? You know the lyrics I was firing off <laughs> before like, you yeah, came. Wait, wait, if like, he got a mixtape, I I guarantee you he's finding some way for every fight. Some some speaker has to be playing his track. Oh, he like, he, gonna, he gonna set it up. He like no, no. Because no, <laughs> see the cold thing about the cold thing about this one, he can fly, but he really rather pull up on you on them things. You know what I'm <laughs> he really rather pull up on you on the things. That's you know what I'm saying? That, 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 like, super, that super big body. He gonna yeah, you know what I'm saying? He really, and, he really, and he might fly it though. You might, cause you can fly, so you might not know it's in the air. But when he get close enough to you, he gonna land and drive, pull up on you. You know what I'm saying? But also too, he he black, so he got a good reason for it. Be like, yo, bro, my eyes hurt every time I'm flying. Wind be in my fucking face. Yeah, yeah. I ain't got he no shades on. He complaining. My hair get all fucked up, nigga. I ain't got time for all that. Change. My pick, I, I last my time pick, I did this shit, the my chain pick, get wrinkled by this air, bro. I need yeah. like that's a lot of that's a lot of this going on. Like I yep. need my like, to be straight. I tried I tried to hit Mach three once. I lost my shoes. Like yo, I ain't like chain, I ain't getting them jays back. I don't know what it is. Nigga burnt the patent leather off the goddamn shoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be doing that, nigga. These is fret. These are new. These are exclusive, bro. Like, I, had, like, I had to tell. I had to tell Flash the other day. He was trying to race, and I'm like, "Well, I got my space." And he's trying to race. No, no. And sir. the cactus jacks, boy. Yeah, <laughs> you can take you and your moccasins back to Central City. I ain't <laughs> no, wait, 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 wait. However, if Superman was raised in a black hood. He taking them shoes off. Like, hold on, give me one second. That's you know, true. That's true. On, Everybody race. You know, I'm faster oh, with my shoes oh, off. I you know, mean, that's, that's he, you know, I'm I mean, faster. Fight, everything he doing, <laughs> like if he pull, if he pulling up in a fit, he damn they're gonna put everything down for he really. Oh yeah, he, 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 you know what got, he kicking got, the shoes off. He got, might take the chain off because like nigga, because if you break my chain, I'm break your ass. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that's also a mental. That's a mental thing too. Be like, hold on. Yeah. Cause you definitely a superhero, but you coming up stunned. It's like, damn, boy, where you coming from? Like, don't just give me a minute. Let me take this shit off. You know what I'm saying? Like, You're like I'm and good. And then just bust your ass. Like, mm -hmm. now he now he down to nothing but a tank top and the gym shorts and some compression shorts. Like, now nah, what's good, bro? What's right? Yo, doing, the doing, fun, doing the Goku the bounce. Thing. Doing the Goku bounce. Like, what's good now, bro? Come on. Like, what's up, <laughs> like, no, 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 no. He gotta do the hood nigga shit. Be like, yo, what's good? Square up. Nigga. Like, what's up? Like, that's like, how he's he's the villain and, ready for this though. And like, and he going and he, and he going with every punch. Like nigga, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be yo talking all shit the whole like, time. The nigga like just knock out Luther. Nah, let him get up. Let like him get the, up. Uh, the way I picture this shit now is definitely Shay Hanks, and he sounds like Marshawn like Marshawn. Like, <laughs> like, like that's the ultimate. It. That's how I visualize this Superman, bro. Like, yo, I can see him just in interviews. They'd be like, "So, can you tell us about the huge epic battle between you, Zod, and Brainiac today?" I'm just here so I don't get fined. Um, right. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, so I ain't gotta pay for the damage. I'm just here so I ain't gotta pay for the damages. I just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just here so y'all don't come at me talking about I gotta be on Nancy Grace because I owe. Eighty-three million dollars for this building that fell and stuff like that. I mean, have we ever asked why they so tall? <laughs> y'all got eighty-three floors. I know y'all don't use all of them. Oh, like if you ask me, this y'all fault. Like I can definitely see it, fam. Like that's a definitely like, that's another. That's why I said like that's see that's why like as much as I I love us. Like, that's why they don't want us to get us in. They don't want us in that door where we start really... Like, if we was able to really get in Marvel as writers and recreate, like, how they reverse and make their mm -hmm. own universes out of the universe. Like, if we were actually... If you had writers that can get into Marvel and be like, we're going to take all of y'all characters and make a new black universe in Marvel. Like, y'all can still have y'all whole, but we're going to have a black tone. Like, we're going to write comics literally for every comic, every character, yeah. new origins and everything for all... Like, we're just going to make all your characters black. Well, that's what I, that's what that's actually too though. Like what I'm hoping for 
any of the four of us here, especially like with how heavy y'all are on the blurred culture mm-hmm. and with as much content and as creative as y'all are, I would love for something like that to happen, sort of like how Stan Lee did. Because a lot of people don't know, like at one point Stan Lee was fired from uh Marvel. Or I think like I think he left or something like yeah. that. But DC came to him and was yeah. like, Hey, I want you to give us your take on these characters that we have and put them in your version and right. stuff. And so, and that's what he did. So I would, and so again, too, like to that point, even to like from the wrestling side, like CM Punk became a writer for Marvel or yeah. even like the girl that's Miss Marvel. Like she's now writing the Miss Marvel's yeah. new comics yeah. as an x yeah. yeah. So I can, I can only hope and pray that, you know, one day I get to see like, Hey, geek set is now one of the, uh, uh, pioneers and pillars that's going to bring the black universe to yeah. the MCU yeah. and give oh, yeah. you very realistic stories, new stories that mm-hmm. will cause some controversy, but definitely will open your eyes to see how real it does get when it comes to this comic book world. So you yeah. see all the aspects of it. Yeah. yeah, cause, yeah. And, you know, there's people, you know, shout out to uh, Anthony Piper of Truly. Like, he's writing stuff like that, right? So, mm-hmm. like, it is that. There's people who are telling those stories. We just got to amplify it more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or we got to contribute it to it more. Because, yeah, that's that's the one thing. As much as we love the black characters that we are getting and everything like that, we still haven't got the true, like, realistic story that we can tell, you know, hopefully with the emergence of like all these properties getting, you know, milestone, getting their love and potentially mm-hmm. yeah. getting a static, you know, that's static was probably one of the closest ones. When you go back and watch that cartoon and you see the things that they deal with and the stuff that static fights against and the villains there and the boom babies and everything, it was literally talking about protecting your community, dealing with the things that we deal with. So, like, we do yeah. need more properties like that and to with, come to fruition. And it, stand, and it stands on what we were talking about, how we said, like, they keep they keep black, like, the neighborhoods don't really be in the comic books because Static Shock, other than Static eventually leaving and doing stuff with other people, like, you never saw a real hero really coming into their neighborhood. Yeah. Like, static was mm-hmm. always the one there. Like, what, yeah. What, yeah. Yeah. Now, go ahead, uh, bitch. I was going to say, I, I guess kind of Luke Cage kind of did, but, yeah, a lot yeah. of the time, yeah. he was... It wasn't as much as I think, like you, like you guys are saying, it could be so much more. Yeah, I mean, it, well, I mean, it really Luke was Cage, just him. Yeah, I mean, and Luke Cage, Static, you would okay that. You would okay Luke Cage because it's like I'm talking mm-hmm. about literally, like you know, what I'm saying like the white hero, like mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying like they not coming down there. Oh yeah, you know yeah. yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Like, well, you know, but you, but you also gotta remember too, for the simple fact, most of these people that are writing this is of the white Caucasian, and I even think something that I saw in like uh, recently when I was uh, watching Atlanta, and they did the. Uh, the goofy movie, yeah, uh, documentary yeah. oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one of my but favorites. what, oh, yeah, well, phenomenal episode. Phenomenal. Uh, but what they were showing though was like a, a, a big reason why they don't have this is because they don't have that experience. Yeah. So right. it's just like, yeah. it's like you're telling the dude from Greenwich, Connecticut, to write me a scene where Thor goes to the hood and talks to some of the people there. Yeah. yeah, they don't know what that looked like. No, that's and when you, you get those comics that you like. We saw like what was the Thor Miles Morales one where everybody oh, was talking oh, about oh, that long. Man. That, oh. you, get, you get comics like that because of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. but then also you got to think too. Their their version of the underbelly is what we see in Daredevil. Like yeah. white people, like when they think about like the hard on areas, they think about like Manhattan, but like the like or you know like but yeah. like. Like that, that underbelly of that is like, yeah, that is a impoverished area, but like that's not our, that's not our experience. Like ours is a little bit different. There's a whole lot of difference in there and stuff like that. So it's like, you know, again, it, go, it goes back to we do need writers from our walk of life to be in those positions to really tell that story. Yeah, to be able yeah. to find, to be able to capture. Yeah the essence the heart and the soul of what makes that because yeah. it's not just about y'all trying to go okay we need to kind of show like this poverty or whatever this is like this is no you just don't know the spirit of how yeah. this works yeah. right. so you don't so you don't know how someone will react when a hero comes because you don't know and you don't have no one to really go talk to to ask and like yo like asking for people like us like yeah what would y'all do if y'all was just sitting there chilling and thor just popped out of nowhere yeah Right. Like, I, I, mean, I, think, that... I think I think the best uh, interpretation that we can see of it is really how they handled like like the original like the Black Panther movie. Like, yeah, the white people that were in the movie, like how you know how they really were trying to show this. Like y'all are trying to be like, no, 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 bro, we don't do all that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I like how they do that. Like it was, it was yeah. like 
it was almost like it was written where it's like we're going to write this scene where the white person gets it wrong, so we can't correct them. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But but yeah, but to that point, it it is still showing that same thing because it's like there's this piece that you took from this huge area of culture that we have and you and you tried to put it in something that's not real. And so even yeah. though like I know no disrespect to Black Panther, like I've even said, like with most of these characters, I've yet to see someone that is us. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. With, with, with Black Panther, though, it's it is us. I, I, I associate that more to our African roots. So it's yeah, not yeah. like the American black story. It is yeah. our African roots. And that's why it has so much um, culture attached to it. But like yeah. this culture of us, like the black American, the hood, like that, that is a whole completely different story to like what Will is saying. So like, yeah, like Black Panther, they touch on it. But like, yeah, it's still not that. Yeah. It's the, Which, I feel yeah. like they tried to touch on it with uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Like yeah, a little they got bit. it wrong. They, yeah, they got it wrong though. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, you know what it was? I said that they got it right for who they did it for, because even to what they showed was the a black person who is disconnected from his people. Yeah. And that oh, is okay. Brody and Falcon. Brody and Falcon, although they are black African Americans, even though Falcon did come from New Orleans, the way y'all have it set is that they're disconnected from their yeah. community. They're and so high up in the government, I mean, yeah. they're so far gone. It's you. You're not in it anymore. No, so, and and I, I, and I and I get that. That's why I, I get that. I see that. Yeah, yeah. I and just, you see I it just, like with you see it with Miss Marvel and everybody else. They're still centered. Yeah, there's that culture. They're still yeah. centered around that it comes back to. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Like I think like for me like with the is because they for instead of instead of showing like I get what you're saying they showing a disconnect, but it's like they had to show it through a way of showing like just the black man strife again like you know what I'm saying like like to me i'm always going to be like i hate the i hated the bar like the, the loan scene like i hated that we <laughs> i hated that we had to yeah. literally find out that no superheroes get paid by the black person trying to get money you know what right. I'm saying? like that's what like that's what made me like where i was like those are things where it's like i get what y'all trying to do but y'all literally at, at the same time as y'all trying to show that you know he's disconnected from his culture you're still also showing that even as a hero this black like you know what I'm saying? like it became this rolling like nigga as a, yeah. nigga, as a hero as regardless mm -hmm. you still ain't nothing you know what I'm saying? Where yeah it really and the only person he was really trying to like clarify things with was bucky which i feel like we already invited this nigga to the barbecue you know a long time ago you we know took him to wakanda yeah, <laughs> it was like, it really, like you're trying to you're trying to like 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 I guess you want to say, like close the gap and explain a little bit of the culture with a white person, but you're explaining to somebody who damn near already gets it. Yeah. But like, then also too to that point, it's the it's the box checkoff. It's not really going into the depths of like what this stuff really is. Because yeah. It's like, yeah. And and that's again, it's just like, oh, okay, so we know it's this. So let us show like this struggle because at the same time too, it's like it do show you the unfairness because. You they and, and then correct me if I'm wrong because I don't want to go too far off onto this, but I never saw Captain America struggle. His struggle, like, was a, like became, his struggle was a his America. struggle was a more of a physicality. It was a yeah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking, but I'm talking about money wise. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like it said, seemed like, show his regular life. I feel like once he came back, you, you ain't see the the, the non superhero side of him. Yeah, yeah I feel like, I feel he, even. Yeah. And when a like soldier he was like care of by us by nicking them, like he so again, them, he why isn't Falcon taken care of? Why isn't there yeah. that program? That but it true. seems like there that is, is for everyone else, but Falcon. You know what? The... But it also I, like, but I'm saying that's actually bad though because it's yeah. like it's it's this like if you want like we they try, like with with Falcon and we're gonna definitely be we could be in this forever and I really hated that show like yeah. it's because of, you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. but it's like. Because it's like if you really want, like, even if you talk about how you say, like, Steve, like, uh, Captain America didn't struggle and shit like that. Like, with Falcon and Winter Soldier, we had the very first time, of, other than Hawkeye, of like even somebody trying to do something for their family. And it's like, nigga, I'm a hero. Like, y'all ain't gonna help me. And it's like, that's what I was about to say. Never, like, you never hear like, like, strange. All these other heroes, mm -hmm. for one, don't even really pull their family into like, I need to do nah. this for my family or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it's like. It's just crazy to me that, that was it for me. It was like we have to show that this nigga community is in, in like we show all of that. We're showing yeah. him as a black man's in peril, his community's in peril, and like in all that, and no one's helping. Like no one's. Yeah, helping. That, that's what it, to, to kind of what Ditch was saying about like I'm a hero for hire. 
the, the one thing that they never showed is somebody being uh being recruited for the Avenger to be an Avenger and somebody legit just saying, All right, I'm down, but like yo, like hey, I still gotta take care of my family. What type of money situation here? Like, we ain't the, never the, we never nah, the closest, conversation. No, nah, the closest thing we got to was she hulk They was like, Does the Avengers even have medical or yeah, and that was where like I that was the closest yeah, thing we got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But even, even like, too, to that point, it's still like there's always a step back for it because even too, like to make him be the one to say that, then also from the other side is so his military didn't take care of that either. So you right, have a right. military exactly, superhero yeah. who's technically still in service of the government, not making anything. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like when you break it down and go far, that's why I said like they did, they did so much. In the in the Falcon episode, that's like if you really spent the time and damn near did it, you know, like broke the whole shit down. It's like, bro, y'all really this was y'all really shitted on us. No, man, no, and, and, and shit at the end. But no, and that was that him. was the biggest shit part. And I've told Deuce this before. I was like, to this day, I hated how they introduced him in his new suit. Oh yeah, yeah, it was yeah, it was a big ass speech. Yeah, like it, not what even a speech. It was the first look is you flying into a building with a red light where we don't even see the full oh. costume. Yeah. Oh, it's just yeah, him yeah. like this sitting looking. I'm like, yo, this yeah. is him as yeah. Captain America, like, yeah. shield, yeah. wings, all. And that's how y'all did his intro. Yeah. Stark came in with music fucking playing, yeah. land so he can land counter Loki. <laughs> <laughs> and this how y'all do Falcon as the new Captain America? That's wild. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why that's why I really that's why. That's why like they can't get they can't get it right. It was just like that just had too much. It was too much nuances yeah. to like remind us that black people still don't get it. You know, and I feel like I think a lot of people I've talked to during that for that season too was like, I didn't need that. Like that it took away the whole fantasy of superhero when you really watching a black motherfucker struggle to be a hero. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? When we talk yeah. about the, how we talk about everybody, if we all got powers, like you don't want to see, I don't want to see a nigga still, like nigga, we all had, that's why I say we will always be for us. Cause you yeah. wouldn't want to have powers and this nigga still struggling. Bro, you still struggling with powers? But then like, you got me, <laughs> then you got me asking a hundred other questions. How the fuck you getting around the world doing this shit and you ain't got no money? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who buying your plane tickets? Mm -hmm. <laughs> who, who airplane did you just jump you out of to go fight yeah. niggas in the desert? That, but see, that's you know what you know why you know why those questions aren't being asked because we when we see Rhodey when we see uh, 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 um, Captain America when we see them all like I said we don't see their crew because that's that's who's going to ask those questions going to make and and then you gonna go ask Tony and them and 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 Nick yeah. you gonna be somebody in your crew like wait 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 you doing all this shit and you still can't get that bro like that's kind of wild and then, mean, yeah. that's pretty, and that's Vision is a robot living in Avengers. <laughs> Compound, compound. Come and on. you ain't there. <laughs> like, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I, that's all they did. All of that in that season, bro. Because yeah. his people talked to him, and he went. And that's when he got to complaining to everybody. Yeah, like, <laughs> I can't even. And it's like, bro, I don't want to see you like this. Like, and, yeah. you know what and, like that's what I'm saying. I hated that season because it's like, bro, we get that he gonna make y'all that made him. Like y'all that made this nigga Captain America, and this, and this is how I have to see this nigga get it out the like. He's been an Avenger, and I gotta see him get it out the mud to be Captain America. Yeah. Oh, and then, and then another big spit to the face. You have across Scott Lang, who's a criminal who got his own business. <laughs> so yeah, it's a, it's a long the one. convict is making money, but <laughs> the dude who fought with Captain America and to save the world and his like, military, you bank, you and his military? Like, like you wouldn't be here without me, bro. And you can't give me no loan. No, like literally. my credit that bad, bro. Like that's the question. I'm, I'm on your at. Like, what's my credit score for one? Nigga? Like, like, I what? Like, <laughs> you, you even, gotta, like even two to that point. Be like, how you got a better credit score than me, and you ain't been here in five years? Like, <laughs> <laughs> how that like, work? Like, like, hey. hell, like. That's what I said. Like it just, it just, it made me mad. Cause even in, the, cause it was like a, it was above, like all the bro. I don't even want to talk, but that shit gives me, that yeah, shit yeah. makes me mad, bro. That shit yeah, but... makes me mad as a bitch. That's bro. crazy. Like, I didn't have, I had none of these strong feelings about the show. <laughs> Y'all, I could like, I watched it fully, and it's like the more every time I go back and think about it, I always go back to scenes like, like the whole black, Fal like everything was about just shitting on dude, bro. Black yeah. Falcon, the whole, the whole Bucky. And do it in the streets with the cop, like bro. I'm like, I don't need to see this. Yeah. Like, and, I then, don't, and then, you know, so, 
And you try to give them some reprieve because, you know, we get it. Like, this wasn't the original story. So right, this wasn't yeah. the original story that they were going to go with due to the fact that like the pandemic and everything happening. So y'all had to switch this up. But it's like, even to this point, how is it that U.S. agent story seems more interesting in his transformation into yeah. this stuff than the dude who's supposed to be now the face of yeah. America? And well, I, I mean, I wonder really if was they pandemic held- shit. Like the pandemic writing, rewriting really to me. I wonder saying. also if they held a lot of it for whatever their plan was to be for the movie at the time. So it's like it's all weird. Yeah. yeah. I just hope I, I just I just need a brave new world again to get back to superhero shit. I do not need them to be focusing on any more racial things. I feel like just there's certain characters that if you build up, they can address the racial things. And that's what we like at this point. Like Captain America, that's not his fight. Don't give me that. No, don't give yeah. me that. <laughs> no. yeah. I like I like Luke Cage saying yeah. how Luke Cage yeah. said. I wasn't particularly fond of how coloristic y'all tried to make the neighborhood because I was like, <laughs> I ain't I ain't never seen Harlem that colorful in my life. Like, <laughs> but if that's what we going that's to make that that's McDonald's Harlem. That's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what that was. That's that yeah, Trevor got a new job. You y'all. know, <laughs> every time I see them in front of that barbershop, I kept just thinking, ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. I just was expecting that shit to just come in front of the screen. Just that's what Look this feel like. Like, that's what I felt good like. job, y'all. McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> the new 10 piece nugget is now $9.99. Be sure to save your hood and keep it oh, righteous. Only keep me righteous. That's a nasty tagline. That is. That's nasty <laughs> work. That's, that's nasty righteous, work. bro. <laughs> you gotta bo- you gotta boycott a country that say that. Yo, uh, and see, but that's but that's the reason why it's like. I agree to Deuce's point of the trying to limit the racism because either you have to make it ignorant to where we don't have it at all, or you have mm-hmm. to let someone from our eyes write it, and then we find that balance, which yeah. is meaning just like, hey, what can we really squeeze into a PG-13 movie that ain't going to trip everybody out? Yeah. But we still give a realistic message because that even to the point of like, Killmonger. That's why you had to kind of make him the villain because if you didn't and you said he was a hero, this would have looked real bad because you would have had all of us going, yeah, no, nah, we were him. <laughs> As we were, kind of. We were just like, no, nah, we were him. We don't know villain. y'all. Y'all didn't come for us. He got. Mm-hmm. He talking about coming help us. No, but that's how you definitely do a good villain where you got it where they, they're they agreeable, but they just go too far. Yeah. Yeah. And again, like, though, did, but again, too, like, even to that point, did he go too far? Because even now, going back to, again, like we say with the, George, like, when, when we had, you know, the George Floyd riots, and they called the Marshall Service. Mm-hmm. That's extreme. But yeah. the only reason why it's extreme, because it's like chess. We don't have no move after that. Oh, we sent in the National Guard. We're like, well, damn, you know, we ain't got no police. Checkmate. To come right, yeah, yeah, that's checkmate. And so it was the same thing with him because we know that is what you will do. You're not going to say, oh, okay, you know what? Y'all got all of this. Cool. Let's talk about really getting some equality. We're like, hell no, fuck that bomber. Fuck that. You know what it is? <laughs> it's having the big joker and putting it right here. That's what yep. it is. Yeah. That's what, that's what Killmonger did. Killmonger was like, no, I, we got the big joker. Put it on your forehead. Like, what you doing? Oh, yeah. Even, even, even in that situation where you got the big joker and you do that, you don't play it. You, you don't he, play it. He was he was the person who trying to run space from ham, from the first hand. Yeah, he is. Like, yeah, he, 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 he the one who was like, all right, to, let's go. Let's run. Yeah, he's trying to run the board. He was yeah, like, he's trying, he trying to run the Boston on you real quick. He was, yeah. like, right. he was like, I got to get out of here real quick, y'all. So he's just <laughs> right. like, hey, let me. <laughs> but it but it was true though and that's the thing too of just like you don't see those things and it's just like too i would not mind seeing that be more of what these villains go for yeah and stuff and i but 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 to up to the point of a balance like i still need my harley quinn's to just like want to wreck hot shock and be happy yeah. I and think just, it depends on who because I, yeah. I still, like I need Doom to still be like just petty and like nah, I don't I don't need to you know associate with him. I like yeah. like when they gave us Carnage, yeah, Carnage needs to be psycho. Like he nah, that was be, not a good Carnage. It wasn't a good Carnage, but I'm saying Carnage needs to be where you like, bro, 
you wild. Like there's certain yeah, I mean, characters I need that to need to be just kill, wild. Like thirty people as a human being first. Then yeah, then, yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. Like, like I need to see this nigga as a monster as a human. You know but that's like, what that's what that's what they missed out. But to Will's defense, like wait, if like if we do get a new Mister Freeze, like yeah, I want that balance. I want where I'm like, yo, but he really trying to save his wife. Yes, he went a little bit too far, but like I kind of understand his plight of wanting to change, like save his wife. Like there's certain characters that gotta have that balance where you kind of agree, but there's certain ones that just gotta be deranged. And th and then too to that same point, it's just like. How much of a villain was he? Because if you think about it, it's kind of, and you put him as a hero, man, I saved the world and I can't even afford to help my wife with her medical bills. And y'all not going to help me out? Yeah. Oh, this is where my villain origin starts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, oh. yeah so I, oh, okay. Like I said, yeah. it, I mean, it, I, it, I, it all depends it. on the character. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because I mean, because like I'm getting kind of, I am kind of getting tired of the relatable villains. Because I mean, I feel, yeah. like, I feel like that's what made like, like, I didn't like Namor like that because it's like, bro, you coming at them because of, like, y'all did me wrong, so I'm pretty much like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, we y'all already did with Killmonger, who was like, y'all did me wrong, Wakanda, so I'm yeah. getting well, back in blood. And then Namor comes up like, y'all yeah, yeah. did me wrong, Wakanda, too, so I didn't no, get it back in blood. No, his wasn't y'all get me, y'all did me wrong. Namor's was, you talked. I'm going to yeah. shut you up forever, then. No, well, talk. Uh, the, the biggest thing about Namor is he, he was running in, like, a mafia because it was more like, Y'all talk, so y'all gotta go handle that, and y'all gotta handle that by killing. And if y'all yeah. don't, then I'm fucking with y'all. Like it was like really mafia rules with. But with that, him. but and see to my point though, that was what I didn't like about that was that you made him divert what his plan was because they in did. the they beginning did. part, what it was was Namor was finna attack America. Mm -hmm. He was yeah. finna attack yeah. Shield. He was about to attack the government. Yep. And instead of y'all showing that, you decided to put it to where it's like, oh, this whole little thing of, well, the Wakanda people are trying to do it. Because if you really think about it, them getting involved made no sense. Because it all did. it was was some white person say, oh, I think the Wakandans did it. Like, mm -hmm. no, we didn't. It wasn't right. even fucking there. That's y'all. <laughs> It was that's, that's all that conversation it made was. it it made it because that literally started the plot, bro. Like some white people yeah. threw out a random ass lie and it's like, y'all just gonna believe him? Like, what are we <laughs> doing, bro? I was like, like, I was like, yo, we watching Rosewood. That's what just happened. I, I, yes. I, because and it also they keep it up. I mean, I, I mean, we I mean we obviously know that they were still looking for it in the water, but technically they, um uh Namor didn't even have to. He was like he he could have been like, Oh shit, they think Wakanda did it, let them niggas go to war. We just stay by anybody that come in this water, we fuck them up. Yeah, but let let them think Wakanda did it, and then they just fight. Like he didn't have to do any of the other shit because even if they would have been like, no, no, it was somebody else, the white people already believed it was us. They had no other proof that it was anybody else. They could have just kept that shit going. But then too, from that standpoint, Namor can already know like, yo, this wasn't them. So like, why y'all why y'all interfering? It's like this ain't got nothing to do with y'all. I don't like even to his point of what he said was. Those people have nothing to do with you. Yeah. So if I drown them, what do you care for? Like even right. to the point of like, you could go get your people out of there before yeah. I submerge it underwater. Right. Like, you didn't want to help them before and advance them. Why do you care now? That's right. what threw that story off for me because it's like how hard y'all fought to not interfere with America. Now all of a sudden your queen died trying to save it. <laughs> That don't add up. There's a hole there. There's a hole there. <laughs> There's, There's a, a hole like, there. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> so that's and that was kind of some of the flaws of, like I said, of that movie. And I, obviously, we know, you know, with all the rewrites and everything. But yeah, it was just like the conflict didn't need to be a conflict. Well, too, it's just there's the you won't you won't show the villainy of what it needs to be and i've right. noticed that throughout a lot of these comics you never state that the government is a villain based off of the decisions yeah. they make rather it be to yeah. their head they're like in my head i'm doing a good thing but the ramifications show that i'm a villain right and they don't never want to make that the villain in these stories. It's like, no, 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 no. We'll direct that. Like, even with X-Men, it's not the government, it's Trask Industries that's doing this. Yeah. No, you made the Mutant Registration Act. <laughs> this y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Trask. This you. It's you. It's you. 
This is you that's causing these problems. Which also goes back to why they don't want black folks in it because black mm -hmm. folks would have been calling them out. Like, uh -uh. We would pull up their Twitter like, this you? This you? Right. Well, you've been, <laughs> been in Marvel Studios like, yo, who's the man? What's <laughs> good this that? Exactly. Uh, what what pout? I'm not I'm not familiar. I'm not too sure on this this, this villain that's called the man. The man. Well, hold on, you and you said that he has an associate organization called them. <laughs> no. uh, can you describe what that is? The the them. Who it is is a, hey, it's a, it's a it's a black person working in the back. They're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. it's them. <laughs> it's them. <laughs> we, know, we know exactly who we, we talking know about. Exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh my goodness, man. <laughs> uh, yo, this this has been an amazing episode. Like y'all said, man, we could talk about this for hours. This is yeah. this hours. is kind of this yeah. is kind of turning into a three part. Oh, uh, straight out of the comic book. Yeah, now we're knocking on almost three hours. Like, I mean, I'm just... looking at the live time. I'm like, bro, how, I'm about to get in the group chat. Like, bro, where <laughs> go? Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, is this a, is this a mini series? Like, we got this up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> And we started off by saying this is our, our, our collapse. So this is Affinity War. Now we in Endgame. Like, <laughs> right, that's, mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. But, yo, before we close out, though, man, I definitely want y'all to let folks know what y'all got coming up, man, because I know y'all got a lot of big things coming Um this will air, I believe, in two weeks. So I know this will be after DreamCon. So anything okay. after yeah. that, like going into August and up, y'all can go ahead and let them know what y'all got cooking. Uh, we'll start with uh, Deuce. Yep. They go to Bacardi, Big, and then I'll close this thing on out. All right. So at, by the time that this is out, if you're watching this, we have dropped our first official trailer for the Black Geek documentary. We released it at DreamCon, and so now it's out to the public. Make sure you go to our YouTube page. Check that out. There are still multiple ways to support. If you want to learn more about the exact whole story, then go to the blackgeekdocumentary.com. Um, and we just put out um, an episode as well of our Geek series that is produced uh, by Bacardi and King from uh, Geek Set. And we did a profile on Anime After Dark, The Collective. They did some dope shit at DreamCon last year, and they just did some dope shit at DreamCon this year. So if you want to learn more about some other Blur Collectives, man, make sure you go to our YouTube page, check out that documentary as well. So those are the two things that I'm definitely going to promote first. We'll, let, yeah, we'll go to the next person. Uh, I mean, we, yeah, you said this when we come back, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, when we come back, I mean, we definitely going to, for me, it's going to be a definitely a new collection coming out from Geeked. Um, I'm kind of, we, we've been so busy for the summer, so it's definitely going to be a, it ain't going to be a summer collection, so we're going to be definitely going into a new <laughs> fall collection, uh, getting ready for that. Uh, and I mean, but we're going to be definitely shooting a lot more commercials. I definitely have a model. I have a, a, a couple, camp we have a Geek campaign that we definitely going to be shooting out. We're going to be... After during this time, we're gonna be pretty much doing a lot of content because it's gonna be conventions gonna be down. Yeah, so we're gonna be it's gonna be a lot of geek set con uh, content just in general coming out. So it'll be a lot of new clothes stuff coming out. Yep. Uh, I guess yeah. To jump on that, uh, obviously we got some of our gaming stuff. We, if you're watching this, the gaming kickoff would have went out about two weeks ago. So some of our more episodic gaming content, whether it's us playing stuff like. Um, I was gonna say Stranger Things, wow! But I was playing like Among Us, <laughs> um, playing some horror games, just stuff to to really dive deeper into. We already game just offline, so now we're trying to take it online, just so people can see more of us. Yeah, and Lost Holocron. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know when that episode gonna be up after that. I still gotta finish editing it. So. Nah, well, we have a Star Wars based podcast <laughs> that did runs called The Lost Holocron. <laughs> it's been a, it's been a busy couple of weeks. But yeah. That that'll definitely be a part of our content push. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just getting yeah. deeper into that and, you know, just trying to stay more consistent with everything. Yep. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. Consistency is the key. Not just for y'all selves, but for me as well. So, uh, y'all, thank you for checking out Shred of a Comic Book. Keep checking out the show. Um, it comes out on Saturdays on the RK Tokens channel. Then it comes out on my channel on Sundays for you to view at around 3 o'clock. So, make sure you keep tuning into there. Make sure you like and subscribe to both of the channels, RK Tokens, myself, as well as the Geek Set Podcast as well. And be sure to be on the lookout for Geek Blasphemy Ooh. coming very soon. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we say it. Yeah, hey. Announcing it. All right. Yeah, announcing it. Hey. Yeah. Okay. It Geek Blasphemy is coming very soon, man. With yeah. of course, Young Deuce is hosting me behind the hell, man, bringing y'all the blasphemy that you would not say in the Discord chat. And we are coming strong with it. Yeah. <laughs> so, y'all be sure to stay tuned, man. I want to thank my guests for this wonderful crossover episode, this three part crossover episode <laughs> of the Geek right. Podcast. We got because we got to do it again because I got to have y'all for Phantom Fiction. I yeah. got, I got, we got to have y'all fan of fiction. That's, so much that's Bacardi was like, Wait, I thought we was making up characters. I'm like, No, that's not this show. This is another show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bacardi's like, Oh, I'll put this notepad away then. Right. <laughs> like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for checking it out, man. And um, be sure, as we said, um, Try to support the SAG Writers Guild as much as you can by up uh, with everything, man. Those people do deserve to get paid. And yeah. uh just to you know, just as, as you're watching this content to their places, humans matter. Like you can't yeah. do this without us. As much as you want to replace it with robots, as much as you think it can work, it just doesn't work without that human touch. And so hopefully they'll be able to resolve that by seeing, like, yo, man, do the human thing, not yeah. the right thing, do the human thing. So we shall catch y'all next time, man. Peace. Peace. Peace.